my channel. My name is Joni Young if you're new here and I'm going to be showing you step by step exactly how to paint this ballerina tutu today in real time. So hit that subscribe now and let's get painting. But I've got a few colors here on my palette. I've got some black in case I need it, some titanium white, lemon yellow or yellow cool, turquoise or bright green aqua, light ultramarine blue or blue violet, neon pink, and neon orange. I'm going to begin this painting with a little filbert brush. It's a number eight and I'm just going to start with a shape. So I'm going to do light gray first. I'll just do this sort of in a, a light gray scale first to begin and then build up with my highlights, shadows, and color. Okay, so I think I'm going to start Maybe right about here and I'm just going to do some little dabs like this and I'm this is just for the little straps on her shoulder and then another one right about here just little taps and dabs like that and then we're going to go down so it looks like a bird or the top of a heart. Okay, and then I'm gonna come down like this. Start to just push flat with my brush with that light gray. And then I start on this side because this is where the light's hitting and it's gonna be brighter. And then I'm gonna ease off as the paint runs out of my brush, gradually on this side to where we'll have a shadow here. Now, I'm gonna take advantage of hardly any paint in my brush right now and use this to add a little bit of a, a soft glow. Just a little bit of a glow here on, <clears throat> excuse me, on the outside. Just something really soft and subtle like that. Okay, I'm going to take some more paint now, that light gray again. I'm going to bring this in so it comes out slightly there. And then in towards her waist. In and then out like this. I'm going to do the same thing. Start to scumble and work out that paint. I'm going to leave a bit of a shadow down here. Again, work out that paint gradually over here so we've got that shadow happening. And I'm going to just add a little bit more white to my gray here. And I'm going to start to do little dabs for a little bit of a design happening on her dress. We don't really know what's going to be there yet. And now I'm going to start to pull out for the tool or crinoline type of look that we want her dress to have. So some areas, right, we're going to have those folds and those folds are going to be where they fold over and stick out. They're going to be the brightest. And don't worry about the end of your dress because that's all going to be sort of concealed and camouflaged with all the pretty little butterflies and flowers that we're going to add. I'm going to add just a little bit of black here, make this darker. So it's going off into shadow over here. Right about here where it meets up with that brighter spot.
And then I'm just going to start to scumble these little circles, just sort of scrubbing gently around. That's really all you're doing, guys. Just like this. This is going to be where we're going to have all those pretty little flowers. using just straight white now and maybe whatever's left in my brush I might have just a hint of gray in there grab a little bit of water not a lot just a little here to work with to help get that smoother flow of paint out of my brush Just tapping really lightly with the tip of my brush here to create a little bit of a texture of beadwork or flowers. And we've got some little butterflies starting to take shape here. So here's my round and it's uh, number two and I'm going to start making some little flowers. This is very impressionistic like I always do. So I'm just going to start dabbing little petals here and there. some going up some little flowers going up there you want to have them different sizes nothing too too big and then I'm gonna start taking my pink I don't want anything too too bright in this painting I want this to stay really delicate looking And then I'm going to do a little bit like this, and then I'm going to soften with my finger to make them start to look a little bit faded. So little dots like this. Now another thing that would work really, really well is uh, the toothbrush. That might be really fun in this. So I'm just going to take uh, an old tooth for my crafting old toothbrush here and oh, maybe a little bit of yellow white I'm just going to do a gentle little spray here just a little bit nothing too crazy
And I'm going to take that yellow, a little bit of green, a little bit of white. Maybe just a little bit more yellow there. And we'll add some little hints of leaves. soften I take just a little bit of my black with my yellow I didn't wash my brush out so I've got a little bit of that turquoise in there too I just want to have a little bit of a yellowy more of a kind of a green gold and that's a great way to make green gold is by taking yellow and black. And I'm going to take some of my blue right away before washing my brush off. Just add a little bit here and there. And we can have some little butterflies. And just very, very soft, nothing too over detailed. Going for a very soft spring-like feel to this painting. Delicate, like how ballerinas are. I kind of just take my finger after I do the petals and just kind of pull and then blur it a little, just to blur it a little bit. And that also gives it the feeling of movement. You know, when you get those pictures of something in action or in flight, it kind of just blurs. white, peach, and a few little flowers right in here, just in the front. Soften a little bit, but not as much. And then I'm going to add a little bit of my green gold in the center. You know, I've got a filbert brush. I'm going to do this dry. Take a little bit of my blue and pink. A little bit more blue. I'm going to create this powdery purpley color. and have it start to fade into that black. Just a little bit more dots and dabs here that I'm just gonna tap on quickly, not thinking too much about it, and then dab and blur up with my finger. And these could be, who knows, little butterflies, little fairies, little stars, flowers, all those pretty magical things. Okay, so this painting 
everything's all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this one today. Leave a like and comment below if you did. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye. Bye.